Alright guys, let's give this a try. This is my uh, one-wheeled electric unicycle, the, uh, the Agda. And we'll uh, see just how bad at this I am. Uh, I haven't really had any chance to deal with it. I just kind of turned it on, make sure it leveled out, it worked. Uh, put the training wheels on it. <laughs> so let's uh, take it for a brief spin see what happens. This is going to look as ungraceful as possible. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Alright. That's not too bad of control. Too bad. Get your perspective here with uh, what I'm doing here. Feet back, feet forward, back, forward. It's uh, pretty easy to work. It's not super comfortable on the ankles. I may be wearing probably the worst pair of shoes possible. But I think I'm going to try a little bit different type of padding on it. But, uh, Now this isn't as hard a stop as I can do, but I also know I'm not trying to destroy myself either, you know what I mean? So, see it works kind of like this. Now turning, I'm not sure how easy it would be to turn without the training wheels. What I'm doing is I'm putting one wheel, say my right foot, on the ground, and I either tilt backwards or I tilt forward, which seems to be a little, a little more awkward to go forward for some odd reason. Let's try it on the other side. Yeah, see. But this actually isn't. Uh, Bad. Certainly has uh, rigidity to it, there's no question about that. And this is only a 132 watt model. Uh, there's some that say 170. Uh, 250 I think is, and then there's like a 500 and a thousand watt, which I, I don't personally believe there is, but 132 watt, which what this one claims to be, I'll tell you, this is plenty. This is... This is actually not bad. A little bit of getting used to it, taking the turns, Maybe get the training wheels off of it. Uh, sure, I can see this being a, a decent. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with this. It's actually pretty nice. Um, initial impressions, this, this pad piece here on the front. It's maybe hard to see in the video. It, uh, it's just a, a real thin uh, piece of rubber that just kind of holds on with a, a, a bit of a lip over a piece of plastic behind it. It's not actually padded. It's, uh, it's just there for traction, like to keep your legs from you know, sliding off of it so it doesn't fly back and forth. While I was using it, I really didn't, um, how do I say it? it's compress your legs side to side, like to hold it in with your thighs. Or with your uh, with your calves, but I didn't really feel a need to. There's enough footing here that I can control the amount of tilt front and back with just my feet, so I didn't really need to squeeze. Um, down here, this part that bulges out right over the foot, that uh, that's where my ankle was hitting on. 
I may put some kind of foam padding or something over this uh, just to make the ride a little more comfortable. But uh, again, squeezing really isn't necessary. Um, and this is, the footing is plenty wide. You don't have to worry about, you, you have to be up close to it. You can back off a little bit and still be good. But uh, yeah, I'd say the 132 watt model is plenty powerful. Uh, next video, I will take it out uh, to a park or somewhere and uh, see how it goes. I'll give you a first person point of view. Um, I'll hold the camera while I'm riding it and uh, we'll see how it does on, uh, on a paved trail, uh, not an off-road, although these tires could do off-road. Um, I'm going to wait on that, uh, get used to riding it first, and then we'll see how that goes. So, thanks for watching.